Once upon a time, there was a girl called Michelle who loved everything that grows, and a boy called Rian who loved to build and fix things. And they grew up, and they met, and they fell in love, and had a beautiful wedding, and everything was just right. And they decided to build a house, which is where our story begins. Oh, you can just ask, I want to help you. Oh, thank you. A topping. You know what's a topping? I don't know what a topping is. I'll tell you what's a topping. See, here we go. It's the same as a chocolate cake. Love and Mortar is a 30-part half-hour reality TV series that follows South Africa's Green Ambassador couple, Michelle and Rian Garforth Fenter, as they build a bioclimatic family home. The house really is like the cement or the mortar in terms of bringing our relationship into this wonderful seed of, of new growth, of new life. You know, I've been, I've been building and fixing houses my whole life and this is the first time I'm actually going to build my own house and it's an unbelievable feeling. I can't wait to take that spade and do that first hole in the ground so we can start with the cement. So it's nearly there. Michelle is an award-winning environmental journalist who is passionate about telling the stories of our wild things and places and the perils they face from human activity, pollution and climate change. Rian is South Africa's favorite handyman and has been educating and entertaining television viewers for more than eight years as Dinotsman, giving fans his best building tips on how to build a better life. Avianto is a conference and wedding venue in Mulder's Drift, near the Cradle of Humankind World Heritage Site. Michelle and Rian are building their home in the new residential Avianto Eco Estate, Le Jardin. Their house is the first and is helping to set the bioclimatic and energy efficiency guidelines for the estate. Okay, if you're so happy about it, let me show you what I've got. Come what here. have you got? Come have here. Have you got your little... Um... Come to the garage. This is my kingdom. So, so I, I think put... that's great. Yeah, so I'm going to have a little workshop here. And here I can do my thing, make lovely toys and furniture. And a rocking horse. And a rocking horse. To you by <laughs> Brian and Michelle. <laughs> Everybody is turning towards more energy efficient buildings, and we feel that as a people here in South Africa, we should also embrace these technologies and these thoughts because it is only good for the planet and good for ourselves. Through the series, Michelle and Rian find ways to put into practice their home's green design elements, like natural heating and cooling, natural light, solar energy and green building materials. I'm starting to see in South Africa, people are cottoning on to the fact that green is, a, is an industry. You know, there are lots and lots of work opportunities here. New little businesses are starting up as people are problem solving how to trade better on the environment. And that's an awesome thing. Green is definitely becoming bigger and bolder in our country. There's no going back now. We've moved forward. So that's it. No more changing of plans. One is allowed to change your mind. But not when it's got concrete foundations. I think it would be easier if we were building and it didn't have to be a greenhouse. Every single day you have to make a decision. And it's not one decision, it's, you know, seven decisions. And all of them are equally important. And all of them require a lot of knowledge, research, understanding, and you have to make these decisions all the time, and they are life-changing decisions, literally. And if you, if you make an error, you are going to have to live with it in your home every single day, looking at it for the next 50 years. So the two of us decided we're gonna have a little crib where the bidet is, because at least I've got something in the bathroom as well. <laughs> a little crib? A crib. I don't understand. <laughs> a lily. <laughs> You're gonna put a plant in there? No, man, a pipi lily. I don't know what a pipi a lily crib, is. A crib. Michelle is actually three months pregnant. There's a little baby in here. Michelle's pregnancy offers the couple the perfect opportunity to explore ways to live a greener lifestyle, ways that are healthier for people and the planet. And these are the best nappies. 
Good. I'm so pleased we're in agreement about what nappies we're going to use. Yeah, but honey in the bush, we can't use these nappies. Of course we can. Maybe I can develop a grinder to grind it up. See, now you're thinking. Yes. Because I'm not washing nappies in the bush. <laughs> so first of all, you have your flushable, biodegradable nappy liner. Mm -hmm. So it collects the poo, you pick it up and you chuck it in the toilet and you flush it away. In the right way that feces should be dealt yes, with, absolutely. as opposed to ending up in a landfill. As opposed to ending up in the landfill. So when you're changing, you can imagine now, babies don't keep store. So that's the easiest way. So now you're keeping it secure while you're fastening the sides. I don't even have to learn how to fold one of those very large cloth <laughs> nappies. That's a relief. <laughs> it's brilliant. Our relationship is doing great through the building of the house. You always hear these horror stories of people you know, fighting and arguing and nearly getting divorced because of, you know, financial and, and construction issues that arise. We're enjoying the process. And in fact, I think it's doing our relationship good. It gives us something positive to do together. <laughs> You look very cute in your little yellow hat. And you look pretty in your pink. Thank you. <laughs> Look, are you going out to the house with me today? I can't. I've got too much happening at work. When last were you at the house? A while ago. But I mean, I'm doing the best that I actually can. I'm just trying my best as well. This house is a, a flipping nightmare with all of the decisions that one has to make all of the time, constantly. It's exhausting. Don't shout at me. I'm not, this is not shouting. This is, this is stating my case. Why does this always have to get personal? Because this is not personal. I want to make, you want to leave the door there. I don't know. I have to look at it. I'm going to look walk around and think for a second. Okay, do that. Please. It's all what you want. I no. want this. I want yeah, this. but you know what? I want this. But Rian, I am pregnant and I'm trying to apologize to you. Why do you keep walking away? It's more <laughs> argument than a fight. So you sort it out on the telephone again. It's not that, it's, <laughs> that we are getting back home and I don't sleep in the same bed or anything. It's not like that. Yeah, we sleep. Except that one evening when you hit me with a pen, but otherwise <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> I'm actually born with a trowel in my hand, you know, I'm so good. If you give me a small wall, about a meter or so, I'll be able to, to plaster it and give me a big wall. There's people that can do it, you know. There's only one pink toilet left. <laughs> Good. Where's my hammer? <laughs> we are not getting a pink bathroom. Are you sure? I'm sure. I know that you think it's salmon pink and you think it's very delicate, but no, absolutely not. It's on special. No. Mm -hmm. Last word on it. No. We can save a few bucks. Please. <laughs> If you think about a boundary wall, that's not a green wall that we are actually building. But when you get your but frog hang on building... It, wait, I have to <clears> put <throat> my nose in there because it is green. We're making it frog friendly. It's the structuring of the home. Think about down the line, honey. I know, honey, but it's still budget. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> that's the issue right now is budget, budget, budget. Things have been expensive while we're building. The process of greening, I mean, you know, the water tanks, the black water systems, the grey water system, it's, it's a constant outflow of expensive items. Yeah, maybe we're not even going to put furniture in the house in the start. It's, but it's, we're definitely going to scale down a little bit if, with, the, with the dreams that we had to do at once. I don't think we're going to get there. But we'll get there over a year or so. Mm. The Green Star Rating is a way of looking at your building holistically and seeing how green it is. It, it's a rating method that looks at all, all the different aspects in your building and it's a way to protect the environment. What you try and do in everything is reduce your emissions and your emissions actually include the water runoff from your property. So if you're you know, stopping that with catching your water, reusing it, because again water is a scarce resource in South Africa and, and you're doing all the right things. So. 
I'll have to give you a star for that too. For, for both. <laughs> <laughs> You're making my husband very happy. I know, I know, I can see. <laughs> the building wasn't that easy. It's, it's difficult to be like the pioneers in South Africa doing this building. Throughout the series, Michelle and Rian invite viewers to share their lives, their love, and the inspiring, frustrating, and ultimately rewarding journey of building their bioclimatic family home. Try to live a greener lifestyle. We are trying to build the perfect house. You know, we could get the chance to do this. And that's what we're doing, and we are going to save a lot of money at the end of the day. It's only that the initial cost is going to cost you a lot. But it's pointless building a bioclimatic home and not being committed to it. So unfortunately, it is draining our budget, it is draining our pocket. But at the end of the day, we'll have a fantastic platform to say to everybody, this is what is possible. The saving lies in your, is in your commitment to the environment and that feel good of going, I have done the right thing. It does make you feel much better as a planet dweller. For further information about Love & Water, please contact Michelle Garforth Fenter at these contact details. Ha, ha, ha.